Hi, it's Dr. Kevin, off to the hypothyroid diet. Today we're going to give you a little test that you could do at home first thing in the morning that's going to help determine if you have hypothyroidism or not. But what I want you to do is be able to look at all the different things that are going to help you put together this puzzle to determine if you have hypothyroidism or not. It's not one thing that's going to help you determine it or one thing that your physician is going to do. You still have to go through a health history examination. You have to go through and look at your signs that we talked about yesterday, right? The signs of hypothyroidism. You have to look at your symptoms of hypothyroidism. And then we're going to go over today what we call the basal body temperature. You know, your thyroid is considered the heater, right? It's the metabolic machine that makes the body go. It physically will take your body temperature up. So one of the ways you can determine if you have hypothyroidism, excuse me, is just to measure your body temperature. However, you just can't do it any old way. You have to do it first thing in the morning. And when I mean first thing in the morning, I mean you can't even move out of bed. So what I want you to do is take your thermometer, place it by your bedside at a nightstand. And when you get up in the morning, you need to give yourself 10 minutes to do this. You're going to take your thermometer. These days, most of them are electronic. If you have the old type of mercury thermom thermometers, excuse me, you got to shake it down the night before. But with the electronic ones, keep it off. All you're going to do is stick it underneath your armpit, and you're going to hold it there and lay there nice and still for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, turn it on and record the temperature. You're going to do that for three consecutive days. Now, if you are a female and you're still menstruating, you want to do this on a second third and fourth day of your cycle. That way it's going to be much more accurate for you. Here's what we're looking for. Axillary body temperature should be 97.8 degrees to 98.2 degrees. It should fall in that range. If it's falling below that range consistently, that's a good indication that you could have hypothyroidism. Now, there are certain people that just have lower body temperatures. That's why this is only one piece of the puzzle. But if you have a lower body temperature, lower than 97.8, on a consistent basis for those three days, and you have the signs and you have the symptoms, and of course you get the blood test from your physician, that's really going to put everything together and you can feel pretty determined that that's what you have. So that's why we have all these different pieces of the puzzle to help you identify and really secure a good idea of whether or not you have hypothyroidism. So anyway, again, this is just a small piece of the puzzle, uh, measuring your basal body temperature. And again, do that for three days in a row, for 10 minutes, first thing in the morning without moving. And you can give that to your physician, and sometimes they'll disregard it, but I think it's very, very helpful for you and your doctor. Anyway, I'm Dr. Kevin at thehypothyroiddiet.com, and author of The Hypothyroid Diet, which is available on Amazon. There's a complete system inside the book to help you get over the symptoms of hypothyroidism. If you go ahead and purchase that book. Um, if not, you can just go to the website and get some more free videos, more information on educating yourself and helping yourself with the condition. So anyway, hopefully you found this helpful. Until next time, eat well and be well.